In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three simple ways how to add black bars to a video. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jussi. I'm a freelance filmmaker and this channel is all about videography and video editing tips and tutorials without wasting your time. Today I'll teach you three easy ways how to add cinematic black bars to a video to get that cool widescreen film look like in Hollywood movies or Peter McKinnon's YouTube videos. The first way to add black bars is to just add a black bar PNG file on top of the video. Okay, so here is the example sequence that I shot in the Philippines without the black bars. So you can just go to Google Type in black bars PNG. I added the word 4K because I edit on a 4K timeline. Then you can just pick a black bar PNG file and download it to your computer. Then import the PNG file to Premiere and drag it to your timeline on top of the video and then extend it to match the sequence. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. The second way to add black bars by using an adjustment layer is my favorite way. First, let's delete the PNG file. Then let's go to My Assets bin in the down left corner, right click and go New Item and create a new adjustment layer. Then drag the adjustment layer to the timeline above the footage and extend it to match the length. Then go to Effects and type Crop. Then we just drag the crop effect and add it to the adjustment layer. Make sure the adjustment layer is selected and then go to the effect controls and go to top and type 12% and go to bottom and type 12%. And now we've got the black bars. With using the adjustment layers, you can also create this cool effect where the black bars slide in slowly on top of your footage, like in many Peter McKinnon's vlogs, for example. To do this effect, select the point where you want the black bars to start sliding in, go to effect controls, click on the top bell and the bottom bell icons to create keyframes. Then select the point where you want the slide of the black bars to end and click on the little icons to create keyframes for the top and bottom black bar. Then type 12% for the top and bottom bar keyframes. And here's what it looks like with the cool slide in effect. The third way is a little bit different from the other ones. Instead of using black bars, we're going to change the resolution to get that 2 to 1 aspect ratio. To do this, go to the sequence settings, then change the resolution by making it 3840 by 1920 to get that 2 to 1 aspect ratio. The benefit of doing this is that you get to fill the full screen when people are watching your YouTube videos from their phones. And also some people say that it's the best and only way to get that cool widescreen film look. So if you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell notification because then YouTube will actually notify you every Monday when I upload my new video so you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching and see you next Monday. Take care.